Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Nadia Soraya, and I am one of the teachers in Al Izar Pondok Labu, your school sister. Now I'm going to tell you an Indonesian folk tale called The Unlucky Pak Lebay. Pak means Mister. The story comes from Indonesia. It is from Sumatra Island, West Sumatra, precisely. Long time ago in West Sumatra, there was a man named Mr. Lebai. He lived in a village next to a river. Every day, he always used his small boat for work. One day, Mr. Lebai got a party invitation. Pak Lebai, can you come to my house tomorrow? I will have a party, said the neighbor. Pak Lebai was so happy. He loved parties because he could eat delicious food. Still on the same day, he got another invitation. Those two party invitations made him confused. The two parties were held at the same time, but at the different places. The two neighbors who invited him lived in different sides of the river. He talked to himself. If I go to the upstream, I will have two buffalo heads. But I won't have the delicious cakes. If I go to the downstream, they will only give me one buffalo head. But their cooking is the most delicious one. <sighs> On the D-Day, Mr. Labai decided to go to the upstream party first. I should get the two buffalo hats, he said. He started to paddle his boat. Ah, why am I thinking about the delicious food on the downstream party? I should go there. Immediately, he turned and paddled his boat to the downstream. On his way to the downstream, Mr. Labai saw his neighbors walk by the river. Hey, Mr. Labai, where have you been? The party is over. Nothing left here, said the neighbor. Once again, he turned his boat and went to the upstream. Thank God, finally, two buffalo heads come to Papa, said Mr. Labai happily when he arrived at the upstream party. Unfortunately, his friend who held the party said, We were waiting for you, Mr. Labai. We had prepared the buffalo heads for you. I thought you didn't come. I gave them to my family. And the party is over now. Mr. Labai was upset and blaming himself for being wishy-washy. He couldn't decide well. At the end, he got nothing. He was also tired because he was paddling back and forth in the river. When all his neighbors heard what happened to Mr. Labai, then they all started to call him Pa Labai Malang or the poor Mr. Labai. The end. Thank you for listening and watching this story. Hope you like it. See you.